Hello ASS, welcome back to a new video or if you are new here, hi, welcome. My name is Brenda. I do mostly paranormal videos here on my channel and I usually post on Fridays, sometimes Mondays if I have the time. If that is something that you are interested in, please consider subscribing down below. Also, don't forget to turn on your post notifications so you do not miss when I post another video like this one. Now with all of that being said, let's go ahead and get into today's video. Alright you guys, so for this video, it's going to be just really a discussion together. Today I just wanted to sit down without really like a precise agenda or a script or anything like that. I just wanted to watch a couple of creepy videos that I found on the internet and then have you guys um, you know in the comments below tell me what you guys thought about it and these two videos that I found were actually very creepy to me very chilling I couldn't even watch them by myself entirely and not at night either like I watched it um, at work and I was like getting myself scared and I was just like you know what I can't <laughs> I was like I can't watch this right now it's too creepy so some of you may have already seen these I feel like they have been going around the internet for a while but if you are not one of the people who go who is very exposed to like media in Spanish and you know that type of thing you probably have not ran into it because I was really surprised at how many people saw the one of the gym because it was on TikTok. That's probably what made it available to everybody. It doesn't matter if you speak Spanish or not. So um, yeah, the two videos that I found, I feel like one of them has been circulated in TikTok possibly, but it is such a chilling video. It is really creepy. Like I cannot tell whether I speculate this being fake or not, like, I don't know really where I stand with it because the context of it is that this is being recorded because it is like a Zoom call sort of thing with a teacher leading a class. And the one of the students who has the footage of this actually was taking it on his phone while he was listening to his professor talk. So he is opening up the class in his new house apparently so this is he just moved in here the story behind it is that he is separated he just recently separated from his wife so he had to move out from where his wife was living obviously but on his own so he's by himself now and he does have a dog which you can hear in the beginning of the video and so he's by himself completely and he is sitting you know going through his lessons for the day with his students and the other way that they obtained this footage is because they automatically get recorded because obviously this is for school so um, there probably is some kind of administration that needs to make sure that you're you know that you're following guidelines that, that you're doing a good job teaching the students that's what i'm guessing because i feel like that's my that might be how it's being regulated right now because of COVID and everything but he is sitting with you can see like there's like a door behind him you'll see it while I play the clip and everything and you we first see somebody appear like kind of pop their head out which automatically like gave me chills I was like mm -mm. she gave me like the grudge vibes you know the, the ring girl vibes I was not feeling it I was just like I'm genuinely scared. So I'm going to play you guys the clip here so you guys could see for yourself. It gave me the heebie-jeebies. I got chills and stuff and I did not like it. So as I said, he's like talking about it. His students aren't really there yet. Like they're just like, they see it happen. They probably think that he's with somebody else and he um, may or may not have addressed the fact that he's by himself because... I feel like they bring it to his attention at some point. They're like, who else is there with you? Like, they're like asking him and, and so on. So yeah, I'll show it to you guys. Si nosotros estamos estudiando, eh, 
matemáticas, el primer parcial, el primer tetra, vamos a ver, filosofía de las matemáticas, física, filosofía de física, filosofía de la computación, porque siempre hay, hay algo que estudiar eh, más elevado. Efectivamente, Edgar, eh, tanto el movimiento no existe, relacionado con lo que dice Raúl, el gato de... No me, no me suena la... Eh, tanto el movimiento no existe, relacionado con lo que dice Raúl, el gato de... No me, no me suena la... La Inca en alemán, pero en inglés. Hola. Estoy solo, estoy con mi perro. Yeah, how creepy is that? And you cannot tell me that's the dog because the dog can't be up that high on the door frame. And the one clip that you'll see a little bit further down is where something is like crawling on the ground. Ugh, ugh, I don't like it. It was so creepy. I was like, what the hell is that? That is not the dog for sure. Like the way that it was like moving on the ground, kind of just like, um, what did it remind me of? It reminded me of that, that thing crawling on the ceiling. I don't remember what scary movie it was, but if I find it, I'll insert a clip because I'm just like, that's what it reminded me of that like creepy, um, like all fours crawling on the wall that I just clicked the two and I was just like, oh God, I hate that so much. Like, can you imagine seeing that? Which is why I feel like anybody who has like security cameras in their house or anything like that, it's, it's just too much of a risk to have those and be and like watch them back and see some creepy shit like that happen in your house because how could you even just be in your house at peace you know you'd be like on edge all the time thinking about this scary thing that you saw on camera so yeah they start talking about it and then the professor at some point he does end up closing the door and then the door ends up like opening on its own again and periodically you see like this thing like peek out from the side of the door frame super eerie super scary i just thought i would share that with you guys because it honestly creeped me the fuck out so bad i was just like oh god i can't and i was like watching it and i was like whether it's real or not it still did its job and it scared me so bad but somebody posted it on facebook who um his friend was in that teacher's class and so he um, shared it with him and then he posted it on Facebook and everybody was like watching it and um, he was kind of just explaining like the whole situation there was like there was no reason for this to be like a joke like why would the professor or the teacher just want to do this out of nowhere like when he was in the middle of teaching a lesson like even the teacher himself at some point he like gets spooked and he even accidentally says like a bad word because he's like what the hell is going on because you know he's you he can probably see himself in his webcam um i don't know the setup of these classroom things because i'm pretty sure it's just the teacher who's on camera and the kids don't have to turn on their webcam or anything like that but they could speak into their microphone when they want to say something it's mainly just the teacher who is on the webcam and everybody's just watching this unfold and then as i said afterwards it is saved on whatever program that they're doing this class on but anyway super creepy let me know what you guys think about that and don't say it's fake okay that's like the only thing i don't want to hear <laughs> i'm just like i don't want skepticism i just want you um you like your opinions on it like did this scare you or like what would you do you know in this situation like like i don't know what i would do like I, I would just be terrified like even now if i were to see something while i was filming this i'd be like all right <laughs> time to head out like spongebob meme sorry my foot's falling asleep super creepy video now let's analyze the second one also wanted to mention real quick that right now it's like the perfect time for me to be filming this and at the same time, I'm like really scaring myself. It's like super windy outside. It's rainy. I could hear the wind like howling outside. And you know, fall is officially almost here. So 
spooky vibes all around. I love that for me. Even though I'm like genuinely getting scared by myself here in my room. Yeah, I'm scared. <laughs> But anyway, so yeah, the second video that I will be sharing with you guys, it's of a guy who who we see driving. He is on his way to the school Benito Juarez where a lot of people have allegedly been paranormal investigating and people have been breaking in to see what they can capture on film. And he is a skeptic, so he's going in with his third eye closed completely. He's like ghosts i don't know her so he's basically a very much a skeptic and he's like let's see what what all this is about you know what's all the hype about and he's like i'm not scared i'm here by myself let's get it and he's going in and he's wandering through the school and he's like pretty much like brave man over here right now he's like where are the where are the ghosts at basically he like comes in like with that attitude and immediately as soon as something happens, that goes out the window. He's like, oh, hell no, I gotta get out of here. I'll play it for you guys because it's like it's better than me explaining it because I'm pretty sure you guys would rather watch it than hear me talking about it and reiterating everything that you're going to see. But I'll play it now. Well, here I go to the school of Barrancón, here in Wallawises. It's que I came to solo. yo solo. Yo solo y pues medianoche este vengo a ver porque vi un video donde pues cinco pelados bien peludos sale sale una voz al principio del video diciendo me duele mucho pero yo no sé qué chingados le duele un fantasma la mera neta yo no sé qué chingados le duele un fantasma entonces pues yo vengo acá solo para enseñarles de que pues no hay nada no hay nada, porque pues como para que estén engañando a la gente, pues como que no. Bueno, entonces lo voy a poner pausa, pues hasta que llegue entonces. Ok, pues ya llegué. Son las 12.38. Así ah, no, no hay nadie, no hay nadie. nadie. Esta es la, la escuela que tanto les decía. Ahí voy a escuchar. Y por allá hay una novia. Pero la novia no me mete. Porque se culo. Y el chile sí tengo un poquito de miedo. Un poquito nomás. Pero esta es la escuela. La escuela San Benito Juárez. La la la, 1954. Ah, está mal. A ver, un poco bien. Ahí está, está mal. Aquí hay una. Esta madre no se abre. Uy, uy, me cagué con eso. Todo lo que... Mira nomás esta. Esta sí está abierta. Ahora. Pues ya vieron, güey. Puro pinche pedo. No hay ni madres a la... Ver... Ay, ay, ay. Ay. ¿Quién es? ¿Quién es? ¿Quién es? ¿Quién es? ¿Quién es? Ha <laughs> ha
That first one with the little wooden thing that just like slid down. Like how? Especially because he pans all around the room. And if somebody was hiding back there and just like pushed it, you can tell how much, how small of a space there is there to hide behind to be able to push that little piece of wood down. And then right after the door closes and I'm just like, no ma'am. No oh, man, I would run out of there so fast, which he did, which was a good thing. And there is a point where he's running out and people say that they could see something because he gets startled by something in the dark. There's like a little hallway where on the other side is nothing but like darkness and he apparently sees something there. And I've tried to like slow it down and there's like videos of it being like zoomed into and slow motion, slow motioned. and. I couldn't see anything, but I was like... <laughs> yeah, it looked like, it sounded like he saw something. He immediately like freaked out as soon as he looked back. Because first of all, I was like, why? Why would you look back? You never look back. You just keep going, run to your car and get out of there. And then he ends up running to his car and like leaving and he's like panicking, trying to get in his car and like speeds off immediately. And that's basically the end of that video. But I thought it was super creepy. And if, again, if they figure out a way to hoax this whole thing together, they did a pretty damn good job because that video scared the crap out of me. I was just like, Oh my god, like, that's the thing, it's like when you see these paranormal videos, you're just like, what if though? Like, what if ghosts are actually real? Or what if we're all crazy? <laughs> and we just like, we're all crazy and we just happen to imagine these things. And there's the whole thing about there being like another dimension and like when the dimensions cross and then something is being done, people think it's like a ghost because it's happening in another dimension and there's like a film that's like kind of disappears for a second and people have just figured it was it had to be like a spirit or something i honestly want to know who the first person was that said that they saw a ghost or a spirit because i know there was a time where they were making fake photographs of spirits in the background and they were making a hoax out of it like trying to scam people basically being like i could capture a picture of your dead loved one but it's gonna cost you some money and they were doing like that whole scam but i know that if back then if you were to say that you saw somebody they'd be like put her in the asylum she's put her away forever because she's crazy but it makes you really think and i really enjoy watching these videos of potential ghost sightings or potential paranormal activity is just really intriguing and it will forever be intriguing to me which is why I'm here making this these videos about the paranormal but anyways that is going to be it for that and I really hope that you guys liked this sort of video and let me know down in the comments let's discuss these videos together let's just have conversation about it and enjoy the spookiness of it all whether it is real or not but yeah guys that is going to be it for me before I do end the video today's comment shout out goes to this person right here Thank you so much for leaving a nice comment. As always, I really do appreciate it. And if you want to be the next comment shout out, all you have to do is leave me a nice comment down below and that's it. And yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. I really appreciate every single one of you. Hopefully, I will see you in my next one. Don't forget to stay safe and be kind. Bye-bye.